Uh, he is Tom Amiano. He's the he's the guy. He's the assemblyman proposing measure AB 390 to legalize and tax marijuana for anyone 21 uh, or older. Tom, you or Mr. Assemblyman, okay, Tom, we're in full around here. You really I'm think that this here. has a shot? Yeah, I think the time has come. You know, this is not a new idea. It's been kicking around. Uh, you know, we have a change of uh, federal administration. It looks like the messaging there is to uh, try to revisit and uh, accommodate uh, our, our war on drugs, which I think everyone, no matter what party you in, has, admit, uh, has admitted is a failure. We have a dire, dire budget um, uh, situation here in California. It's a 14 but, but wait, wait, billion wait, Tom, let me, let me ask you a question. Let me be realistic sure. here. You had a situation here where the the uh, uh, the proposition to ban gay marriage won with 52 or 3 percent of the vote in California. This proposition of yours doesn't stand uh, on ice ice balls or whatever they call it a chance in hell, does it really? <laughs> You know, I mean, you know, uh, it's a very populist issue. It's polling very well. A lot of my colleagues have said I have some skepticism about it, but I'd like to support it. I think we need to start this conversation, even with the obstacles that have been put but in the way. But let me ask, let me ask Steve dollars. Steiner. Steve Steiner, founder of uh, Damn Mad, that's Dads and Moms Against Drug Dealers, uh, which he founded after his 19-year-old son died of a drug overdose. Uh, do you think there's humor in this, uh, Steve? You join me from Boston tonight. No, hurrah though, there's no humor in it. Um, you know, taxing, taxing our youth uh, to, to balance the budget doesn't make sense. I mean, look at the total disaster that's happening with, or happened with medical marijuana. Uh, with George Soros uh, funding that uh, whole initiative, I mean, anybody in the United States can go to California and go find a doctor and buy, uh, buy the, you know, marijuana. And simply, marijuana is not a medicine. But you know, Steve. Uh, you know, uh, first of all, our condolences on your awful loss, and we have people coming up uh, whose uh, whose children have died from uh, uh, overdosing of pharmaceuticals. Uh, marijuana has been used by virtually everybody in this country, and it breeds disrespect for the law when people pretend that it's like heroin or cocaine. Isn't that so? No, it's not. And I'll tell you why, Geraldo. Uh, my son. We lived in Middletown, New Jersey, not too far from you. And right. Stevie. Stevie was enslaved by marijuana for 13 or uh, three of his uh, three years of his teen years. I mean he started when he was uh, 13, went on to uh, 16 and it wasn't until it wasn't until he stole my credit cards uh, I decided to do something. I was you know I called the law in, they arrested him and he did three months in youth detention center in Freehold. He, when he got out he was being drug tested and and he cleaned up and he I had my son back. He was failing school, he was robbing houses, he was doing everything counterproductive that he should have been doing. And we got, I mean, between that and, and everything else, it, it, the, having our president talk about getting high on marijuana, he should have said that he made a mistake and he would never do it okay. again, it was the wrong thing to do. I, 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 mean, I, I got the, the debate. Tom will follow your the progress or lack of it of your legislation. I think decriminalization probably is the way to go, not uh, absolute legalization. I don't think it stands a prayer is the reason I say that. Uh, but I, I respect both positions. Tom, thank you. Steve, thank you. And again, our, our, our sincere condolences.